Have you ever wondered how to change someone's eye color? Well, let me show you how here in Photoshop. What's going on guys? My name is Brendan from Outbound Media and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to change eye color here in Photoshop. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to have to we're going to open up our image of course, and obviously we're going to need to have a nice photo of eyes, some eyeballs. That's what we need first cuz we need to change those colors. So the nice thing about this is you can change this to whatever you would like, but for this tutorial, I'm going to changing this person's eye color to a blue. I will leave a download link for this photo down in the description below so you can follow along with this exact photo and change the eye color to whatever you see fit. Anyways, let's get on with this. So first thing we're going to do once we open our photo is we're going to go up to our marquee tool and make sure we have our elliptical marquee tool selected. If that's not the one that pops up, what you can do is just click and hold and then you'll have all these other options that will appear. So we're going to select our elliptical marquee tool. So we're going to start on this eye on the left first and so all we have to do is we just have to go up to the edge and drag out and basically what we want, we want to do we want to make a selection just around the outside so if you if you find that you didn't quite get the whole thing you can hold down the space bar move your whole selection over and then readjust accordingly it's okay if you're a little bit over the edge of the eye because you can fix it we'll we'll go and fix that in just a moment. So once you have your selection like this, we can go up to our hue saturation layer adjustment and we will click that. So now our selection has been transferred over onto our layer mask for our hue saturation layer adjustment. Now if you're not familiar with layer masks and want to learn a little bit more, I'll leave a link below to a tutorial of mine where I share everything you need to know about layer masks in Photoshop. Anyways, now basically what this means is our selection is on our layer mask, so any adjustments that we make will only affect that area that we just selected. So what I'm going to do just to dial in where, where our selection is, I'm just going to put the saturation up to 100% and I'm just going to zoom in. And so as we can see, it is we don't want it to color part of her eyelid and out here just outside of her the colored part of her eye. So what we can do is we can grab our brush tool and make sure we have a soft brush selected and make sure your foreground color is black. So now what we can do with our soft brush is just go and paint along and mask out the outside edges there that we don't want the, our color adjustments to affect. So that will also include the pupil and any reflections that are in the eye because we don't want that to get discolored in any way. So you can just go through and do that relatively quickly. Now if you need to go back and make any fine adjustments afterwards, you totally can. Um, all you have to do is paint in white or black to either take away or add to your layer mask. So now I'm just going to take my saturation back down to zero. Since I want a nice blue color, I'm going to be on our master panel, whatever you want to call that. And I am just going to drag up to till we get a nice bluish color. All right, so I'm going to go to about 145. Perfect. So for me, this looks a little bit too saturated for real life. So I'm just also going to take down the saturation. I'm going to go, let's say minus, let's say minus 40. Cool. So now this looks like a little bit more of a realistic eye color. Now, if you have looked at other people's eyes, you'll notice that actually here, if I turn off our layer adjustment, you'll notice that this person's original eye color actually has two different tones and it has a bit of a earthy brown red sort of color in the center and then it goes out to sort of a yellow so let's we want to try to replicate that with our color adjustments here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of a yellow like a desaturated yellow in the center of her eye so what i can do is i'm going to create a new group by pressing my group icon and i'm going to drag and drop my hue saturation layer into it and then next I'm going to grab my layer mask and I'm going to drag it and put it on top of my group. 
So now what we've done is taken our layer mask and so now our layer mask affects anything that is in this group. So any layers that we add in this group will only affect this eye. Okay, now we're gonna add another hue saturation layer into this group. So I can click my hue saturation adjustment again, and as you can see, it has a layer mask here for us. So let's go ahead and make this a nice yellow color. So I'm gonna say about 10, that, that looks nice, 105. Um, so again, this is this is totally up to you. Um, it doesn't, there's no right or wrong for this. So, but for me, this is just what I'm gonna be, this is just the example I'm using for this tutorial. And then since it looks a little bit kind of saturated for me, I am also going to bring down the saturation just a little. And let's go down about, uh, so it's nice and subtle. Let's go about minus 55. Cool, now it's sort of like a gray. So now since I also obviously don't want this to affect the entire eye, with my layer mask selected, my new hue saturation layer, I can press command and I. Everything that's on this hue saturation adjustment layer is now completely invisible. So since we just wanna paint it around the center of the eye, we can grab our brush tool, make sure white is selected, and we can just zoom in a little, and then we'll just paint in, oops, make sure your opacity's up to 100%. And I'm just gonna paint in where I want that little bit of color to be. Now when I zoom out, you can see that it does sort of have a nice look to it. So there's our before and our after. So now of course, we have another eyeball that we gotta cover. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to our elliptical marquee tool again, and we're gonna click and drag and select our, out our eyeball, the colored part of our eye. I actually don't know what it is called off the top of my head. But anyways, make a make it as close as you can. Remember to hold the space bar to move your entire selection around. And I'm gonna click, leave it right about there. And now I'm gonna select my hue saturation layer. So again, now you can see that our group is, our left eye group is down below and all our adjustments are in there. And now we're making something completely separate for our other eye. So as you can see, this the selection we just made is on our new hue saturation layer adjustment. So we can go down and click our group icon and then we'll drag our hue saturation into our group and then we'll drag our layer mask on top of our group and now our group has a layer mask for our right eyeball. All right, so again, I'm going to boost up my saturation completely and then I'm just gonna zoom in and then grab my brush tool and I'm going to be painting, oh, make sure your layer mask is selected, and I'm just going to paint over with black, because remember black is 100% transparent, and I'm just gonna get rid of all the areas that should not have color, because they're not part of the eye. Alrighty, that looks about right for me. Awesome, so now we can, go back to zero, we can bring our saturation back down by double clicking on saturation. And now we'll change our values again to match. So I believe we were at 145. And then I believe our saturation was at minus 40. Perfect. So now our blue tones match. And now actually I just noticed that there is a little bit that I seem to not erase. So, or not mask out, so I'm just gonna go back in and retouch our eye just a little bit better. All right, and now since we have to add in the yellow from our other eye, what we can do is to make this even easier on us, we can just go back into our left eye group and we'll grab our yellow adjustment, which is the one with our layer mask, and we can press Command J to duplicate it, and now we'll just drag it over into our other group. And so what we can do is we can grab our brush tool and paint black over our left eye just to eliminate that layer, or just to eliminate the mask so everything is invisible again. And now I'm just gonna make sure white is selected, and I'm gonna go over to my other eye, my right eye, I'm going to just paint in where there should be some color. So also it's important to remember to mask out the reflection and the pupil of your eyes because otherwise they will have a little bit of discoloration and it will not look quite right. So 
That looks better. Perfect. So now if I turn my layers on and off, you can see the difference in eye color. We changed them from a bit of an amber color to sort of a uh, light blue. So this is what this is the technique that you can use to change any eye color here in Photoshop. So if you want to change it to a different color, all you would have to do is go into your values and you just have to change up the where on your hue adjustment slider your color is. So it's totally up to you. You can have you could have purple eyes, you could have blueberry eyes, you could have whatever eyes you want. And even if you had blue eyes, maybe you want brown eyes, you can do that too. I don't know why you'd want that, but you could do it if you want. Now that our eye colors are pretty much completely changed, I'm just going to rename our group to eyes. And now if I open that up, now we have our right eye and left eye groups and in which our, are both of our hue saturation adjustments. So this is sort of the ideal way of organizing your eye adjustments in the case that you had a bunch of other layers that you're working with so then nothing gets lost or misplaced or you don't get confused about things. Today we just went over how to select our eyes with our elliptical marquee tool and putting that selection onto our layer mask for our hue saturation adjustment layer to do its magic. From then we learned how to do the same on the other eye and, st and we also learned how to stay organized with our groups and renaming a few things in our layers. I personally have dark brown eyes, I have nothing very special, so I want to hear from you guys. If you could have any eye color in the world, what eye color would you want to have? Comment down below and just let me know. I'm really curious. If you guys are new here, I just wanted to let you know that I make new Photoshop tutorials just like this one every single Wednesday to help you learn Photoshop. So if that seems like something that you'd be into, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to stay up to date with all of my latest tutorials. If you want to see more of my work, make sure to check out my website at outboundmedia.net. If you're more of an Instagram kind of person, find me on Instagram at burnwells. Again, my name is Brendan from Outbound Media, and I hope to see you back here next Wednesday for another new Photoshop tutorial. See you then.